Hi everybody, did a glaze firing a couple of days ago and these are the results. This is my pick of the kiln, like pick of the litter. I heard that somewhere, I just thought it was so cute. Um, this is a vase that was just a cylinder and then I um, just brought it in a little bit right at the middle and cut a little piece off the top, folded it gently. It's frosted cherry and spring green. Put the spring green in, put some wax on it, dipped it in frosted cherry. Um, stole the idea for the little green leaves going up like that from a pot that I saw on Simon Leach's website. And again, it's my pick of the pick of the kiln. I just think it's so pretty. And a lot of student work. This is matte black. This is Kathy's work. She's got fire brick, mottled pink, spring green, and chrome green on a black hand-built bowl. Very striking, very striking. I threw together a couple of fish plates, tested out some color combinations. This is agate with frosted cherry and cream. And this is the first time cream has ever come out looking like cream for me. It's very matte and it's just a nice creamy beigey gold. Usually it's dripping all over the place, breaking into all kinds of colors. <laughs> now this plate was on the top of my kiln, but I got a full cone six. And then this fish plate is umber float, spring green, and frosted cherry. I went a little overboard with the overboard with the spring green. I can see it pulled a little bit, but on this kind of piece, the more it pulls or bubbles, the better because that gives it a nice textured look. I like that one the best of the two. I also um, glazed a couple of pieces that I made for the Inglewood, Inglewood um, flower arranging group. This was the one that's supposed to look like bamboo. And I randomly put a stripe of spring green and waxed it. And then I also randomly just waxed the raw clay. So it has a number of different textures to it. And then my big bottle vase was cream over umber float. And my utensil holder and spoon holder was spring green over umber float. And then this is another piece for the Inglewood, Inglewood Flower Arranging Club. Say that five times fast. And it's just matte black. And it has holes going from the top in a spiral down to the bottom. And then there's a floor here and a floor here so that you can have water in it and have things come out at different places. And wherever the matte black sort of dripped a little bit, it's not so matte anymore. Isn't that interesting? So a couple of coats, just because of the way I had to dip this in to get it all covered, it goes from matte to a little bit of a satin. You can see the drip lines, which I like. It's a good black. It's a nice black mat. I think it'll be good under other colors, too. So that's my pick. 
I think that's one of the sweetest little vases I've ever made. Thanks for watching.